Hi everyone, it's Kaylee. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Today I have a super cute thrift flip project to share with you guys. I turned a shower curtain into a cardigan. Before we jump into the project, I just wanted to mention the pattern that I used as a jumping off point to make this cardigan in case you like it and you want to check it out. Um, it's the Annie cardigan from Mimi G. I will link it down below and then I will talk through some of the modifications I made to the pattern throughout the process of making it and then a little bit more at the end. So the first step is to attach the front and back bodice pieces. So I'm just laying the front two pieces against the back piece right sides together and then pinning and sewing those shoulder seams with a straight stitch. And then I finish all my seams on this project with a zigzag stitch to help prevent fraying. Of course, if you have a serger, you could use that instead. And then always uh, pressing the seams as well. So I won't show it for every seam going forwards, but I'm always doing a zigzag stitch and pressing all the seams. Then onto the sleeves, which is where most of my modifications were made for this pattern. So I wanted them to be really poofy, so I added in a little bit of extra room at the shoulder and did some hand gathering. And then here I'm just kind of adjusting those gathers so that it fits along the bodice piece. And then I'm just sewing the sleeve on. Again, straight stitch, zigzag to prevent fraying and pressing as well. So once both my sleeves are on, I have everything turned inside out, and then I'm gonna sew the seam all the way up the sleeve and down the bodice to close it in. So I'm starting day two of working on this thrift flip. I did end up making the sleeves a lot wider than the pattern pieces because I want them to be a little bit more gathered, especially at the cuff. So I had to do a little bit of gathers up on the top, kind of like how these sleeves are. Now I actually have something I can put on and it seems like it's fitting well. Here's how it's looking so far. Um, the sleeves will look short because they don't have the cuffs on them yet. I'm really happy with the sleeve adjustments I made. I think I'll be able to fit a long sleeve shirt under this pretty easily. Hi, Healy. <laughs> um, yeah, and then like the length and everything is looking good. And I like the little gathers that I added at the top of the sleeve. I think that's really cute. My goal for today is to do the bottom band and gather the sleeves and do the cuffs. So let's just jump back into working on this project. So the next step was to attach the band to the bottom. This was also something I modified, so I made the cardigan quite a bit shorter, and then I made that bottom band a little thinner just because I thought it looked more proportionate. Um, but to sew it on was really simple. You just fold it in half and then sew it to the bottom edge and it'll fold over. And here I am just pressing that to kind of neaten it up and also pressing that finished seam up towards the bodice. And as you can see, my zigzag stitch is not perfectly preventing fraying, but I don't have a serger yet, maybe someday. Then moving on to the cuffs, these are pretty similar to the band, so you just start by pressing them in half, then sew them along that pinned edge to create a tube. And then you turn the tube halfway out, and that will create your cuff where the seam is now on the inside. Before I attach them, because I made my sleeves a lot wider than the original pattern, I need to do some gathering first. Um, I find hand gathering a little faster, but you could also do this by machine with just a long straight stitch length. But I just went ahead and hand gathered these so that I could adjust that opening so that it was the same size as the cuff, and then just pinned and sewed the cuffs onto both of the sleeves. The last day of the thrift flip I have the completed cardigan on now and the last couple of steps that I did were attaching this front neckline band which is attached the same way as the bottom band and then um, buttons and buttonholes on the front band and attaching the pockets 
So now that the cardigan is all done, let's take a look at how it turned out. So this is my completed cardigan. I think it came out really, really cute. Um, before I end this video, I just wanted to talk you guys through the list of modifications that I made to the pattern so that if you end up using that one, you know what I did differently in case you're trying to replicate something similar. So I shortened up the length and then I also made the bottom band the same width as the cuffs. So it's a rather wide cuff, um, but the bottom band was even bigger. So I made that a little smaller so that it would look more proportionate. I also made the pockets about a half inch smaller on all sides to look a little more proportionate because there's less space for them on a shorter cardigan. And then the major modification I made was with the sleeves. I really wanted puffy sleeves. So I ended up cutting out the sleeves instead of the original sleeve shape which is tapered i ended up just cutting them out in a straight line down from kind of the shoulder tips um, and then i did a little bit of hand gathering at the top and i gathered them at the cuff so that they are a little bit poofy at the top and really poofy around the cuff those are all the modifications that i made i did think this pattern was really easy to work with um, and for like three dollars I got a cute new cardigan. That is gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this thrift flip, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. If you wanna see more posts from me on capsule wardrobe style, sewing tutorials, and DIY decor, you can subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you over on the blog or in my next video. Bye.